Yo, so today we're going to be recapping the Road to the Show and Ball Player introduction and feature premiere from MLB The Show's most recent live stream. They're doing one of these every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific until MLB The Show 21 comes out. If y'all could do me a huge favor, leave a like, subscribe for some more MLB The Show content, and comment down below your thoughts on anything and everything that we covered today. That would just be awesome. And maybe let me know the one change or thing you would like to see added to road to the show for me i've said it before i need high school and college ball added to the game so we have 10 things to go over that they covered in the future premiere number one in general is just changes to road to the show which we'll be covering more in depth and the rest of this video they've revamped the narrative there is a new two-way player option and overall there's an all new ball player which you can take from road to the show to diamond dynasty vice versa or use them in one mode if that's what you want to do number two is the road to the show narrative they mentioned that it didn't seem like anyone in the game noticed what your creative player what your road to the show player was doing so there's a hugely increased emphasis on your character's impact in the baseball world whether it's successes struggles or the progress that your player makes number three and this is going to be a long one this covers the revamped road to the show narrative but in specific there is a road to the show podcast this podcast follows your player from the beginning of their career all the way through the minors and into the major leagues there are guest hosts that give you advice provide feedback and talk about your road to the show player and their career what's going on there is a full video broadcast to go along with this podcast the video portion is only going to be on next gen systems but on current gen you're going to be hearing all of the audio that's accompanied by video on next gen but current gen you still get to hear that audio which i'm super happy about you know i know it kind of sucks that stadium creator is not going to be on current gen for example sean casey will talk about your road to the show player and here is an example of that road to the show podcast this is the story that i am all about lately the organization drafted him higher than he was projected to go and they seem to believe that he could be a two-way player for them but not everybody agrees i've got the mayor sean casey with me sean you're not sold on this idea am i right about that yeah i'm not sold on it because i, I think baseball is such a tough sport and you know when you first get drafted maybe you come out of high school you come out of college right i mean it's easy to be a two-way player but when you get into when you get into professional baseball it's so specialized the pitchers are at another level the hitters are at another level and the work that goes into that one side of the game there's so much that goes into it so for a player to come into pro ball and try and be a two-way player that's going to be a really tough thing to do and not many people have that have had a ton of success at that and the refinement's only one aspect of it. There's also the physical stamina that goes into playing a professional season coming from college or high school where you've got a few days off between games. It's very grueling in the pro ranks. Well, it's gru the grueling part about the, about professional baseball. In the minors, you're playing 144 games. In the big leagues, you're paying 162. The mental part of that, having to play night in and night out, is so taxing and so demanding. So to, to, to do that mental side of it two ways, I mean, for me, going back as a hitter, it would almost be have been impossible for me to do that. I would love to hear down in the comments below what you think of this new podcast feature in Road to the Show. It seems pretty sick to me, and I'm just excited to learn more and see more about it. They said that they made a lot of episodes. In fact, they actually gave us an exact number. They made 180 episodes. However, not all of them will be coming up within a single Road to the Show it's going to be dynamic based on the choices that you make from the beginning of your career and through your journey up to the majors and into the major leagues another example who's going to be in it robert flores and overall mlb network will be talking about you once you get to a higher level while you're in the minors it's called the road to the show podcast but when you get to the majors it's actually switching to mlb the network talking about your players switching to mlb network talking about your player and for example cliff floyd is another person you're going to see here's a video example they gave us from AAA. if you're a hitter or a two-way player but this one won't be coming up if you're just a pitcher talking with cliff floyd and cliff when you're in AAA, those pitchers are making fewer mistakes and they've got a better read on you you have to be on your toes as a hitter no you do and you know what they come to get you they they, they know you're the big prospect and uh if they can get you out guess what you know they get the call right so uh that was sure. that was my job 
uh, just understanding what they were trying to do to me. I was struggling. Um, but when you, when you deal with adversity there, it helps you a tiny bit at the next level. I, I felt like, you know, in AAA, I was rushing stuff. Uh, I wasn't allowing the game to come to me. Uh, but once I started seeing a few of the pitchers, you know, the second time through, it allowed me to make those adjustments. The, the biggest thing for me was making adjustments on the fly. I learned at an early age. It helped me uh, just mentally slow everything down uh, and, and, and make those adjustments, knowing what a guy was trying to do with me, knowing, knowing what situations, uh, you know, was, was on the horizon. First and third, defense back, ground ball to second base. I know I can, I'm the guy is supposed to hit the right. home runs and all this stuff, but if the defense is giving me a, a ground out to second, take it. Those are things that help you at the big league level. Let me know what you thought about that one as well. I think it's awesome we get to see up to 180 of these episodes. I feel like it should make a road to the show in general just a lot more immersive. And on this recap, on this stream, they said that there's other guests and analysts going to be added to this podcast and to the MLB Network stuff uh, that they said they wouldn't mention on stream. It's going to be a surprise for people when they play through. Number four is the two-way player feature. For the first time ever in Road to the Show in MLB 21, you will be able to be a two-way player. And with the new narrative feature, you'll be introduced as a player with lots of strong aspects and talents to your game. And then you'll get to choose if you want to be a two-way player or if you don't want to be one. And you can also tell the manager that you mostly want to play as a position player but maybe start as a pitcher every few weeks or maybe be a relief pitcher and throw it in relief every now and then and based on what they were saying it really sounds like you have complete control over how much of both aspects of the two-way player that you want to do also if you try out being a two-way player you don't like it they said that you're going to be able to undo it at some point in your career if it ends up not being for you number five the ball player feature your ball player in general your road to the show player and your diamond dynasty create a player are now the same you can bring your road to the show player and his progress over to diamond dynasty or vice versa and they mentioned that ball player the ball player is only the foundation this is a foundation year for hopefully what's to come in future years of MLB the show number six is progression loadouts they said that a loadout is made up of archetype items which will determine where your player will excel you can add perks to boost certain attributes and you can also add equipment to your creative player to build up attributes as well and you can even build multiple loadouts right you can have one for every situation you can have a pitching loadout a hitting loadout fielding loadouts or other ones like that and before a game you can choose which loadout you want and this is how it's going to be in road to the show and diamond dynasty so you can have multiple position loadouts made including pitcher or somewhere in the field you can choose a loadout honestly it sounds like for any situation and i'm curious to hear in the comment section what loadouts do you want to build for your player for me i know especially diamond dynasty i want my guy to be someone who's a power hitter but also if he's in the outfield fast and just in general a good fielder number seven is programs you can progress your creative player and your ball player through programs to get better items to apply to your character and specialize in certain areas these programs are going to consist of a reward path that can be progressed through doing missions for example record hits and road to the show tally five plate appearances and diamond dynasty so it seems like if you want to you can progress your player and road to the show or you can do diamond dynasty it sounds like it's going to be your choice number eight where can you use your ball player you can use them in road to the show diamond dynasty and moments within diamond dynasty based on what they were saying it sounds like they really want to grow the ball player in the future i mentioned it earlier they mentioned this on their stream but this is a foundation year for the ball player right this is just the building blocks and it really sounds like they want to progress towards maybe like a sandlot mode or a park type of mode from 2k and future versions so i'm excited to get my hands on it in mlb 21 but honestly I'm even more excited to see what they do with the ball player feature in MLB 22. Number nine is freedom. Overall, it sounds like there's going to be a ton of freedom to progress your player and build up the type of player that they are. You're going to be able to create loadouts and experience a brand new narrative in Road to the Show. And I'm just super excited to try out all of this. And something I'm really happy about is that even though the videos, right, I mentioned this earlier, they're only on next gen 
the audio that you're hearing with the podcast will also be available on current gen. I know people with current gen are definitely feeling a little bit left out, not having stadium creator. So I think it's good that this is going to be on both. Even if it's just the audio, right? A lot of people listen to podcasts audio only. They don't watch the video for it. So I feel like it's still going to be pretty immersive and a cool feature. And I like that you can just play road to the show. You can just play Diamond Dynasty. You can do both. And it sounds like there's going to be a lot of different ways for the ball player to be able to play how you want to. It sounds like you're not going to be forced into playing a certain way with your ball player. And I think that's awesome. Number 10, last but not least, as always, at the end, we get a new legend reveal. This week, it was Kirby Puckett. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section. And also let me know, who do you want to see? As a future legend for MLB The Show, who do you want to see your most ideal next legend reveal? Who would it be? Let me know in the comment section. And so far, we've seen Alfonso Soriano, Grady Sizemore, Roberto Clemente, and now Kirby Puckett being added to MLB The Show 21. Thank you all so much for watching. Please, please, please comment your thoughts down below on any and all of the stuff that we talked about and covered in this video. And just thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow.